All right, so this is our makeshift veterinary clinic. We had four butterflies emerge today. And this guy, they kind of all have different, well, two of them have kind of different issues. This one has a little bit of a wing bent. I don't know if you can see it on the video. It's very minor, but I don't know if he'll fly. And of course the guy over here, um, I'm gonna have to, we're gonna have to really help him out. Um, so I just wanted to share a video with Eva and Evan. This is the nursery. This is where I keep the baby babies. If you can see, there's two of them on this plant. And those black specks are the, is their poop. Um, this guy is probably underneath the leaf. And there's another baby. So these guys are a couple days old. Um, actually, it's, um, this one, if I can find him, you need a microscope sometimes. Mommy, you need a boy. Yeah, so I have, I can't find him right now, but he was born yesterday, he's so tiny. Um, this is where the eggs, I put the eggs here. They do take a couple days. You know, this is uh, for Eva and Evan. Oh. Wanna say hi? Hi. I thought it would be easier for them to watch a video instead of Marco Polo. Um, when they're getting ready to hatch, um, they turn dark and then I put them on a fresh leaf so they have something to eat. So when they emerge from their egg, they actually eat their way out of the egg and then they start eating. So I don't have a ton anymore because all mine are chrysalises, but here's my biggest one. He's like an adolescent. He's probably a week old. And then in the next week, he will be like three times, four times that size. So a lot of these guys are underneath the leaves. Um, I won't search for all of them now. I guess I should have done that before I did the video because they kind of want to stay away from predators and sun, so they go underneath. So I have a couple. So once they get big enough, I do put them on these plants inside. I, uh, almost two weeks ago, I had three bins all filled with milkweed. I had like 40 or 50 uh, caterpillars and I started putting them in mason jars. So I would put them in here because they would go all over my house. And I'll show you an example of one that escaped. Um, so I put them in the jars with tool. This is like a breathable mesh. And then they just kind of hang out in there until they're ready for the chrysalis. Usually happens with in like a day or two. I had so many chrysalises that I had to come up with another solution. So Julia is just adding water to, to the um, paper towels just to keep the leaves fresher longer. If we didn't do this, then we'd have to change out the leaf every day, but this at least makes it so it's every other day maybe. All right, so this is our wall of chrysalides. Um, this guy emerged this morning, so he's just waiting for his wings to fully dry. This is an empty chrysalis. It is very crispy and crackly. Um, it's hard because the window is in the background too to see all this stuff. So this one is really dark. He'll come out probably tonight. Um, this guy will come out hopefully in a couple of days. So they're all kind of in different stages that gold at the top, you can see like the gold. No, you don't want to see the messy backyard. You want to see the gold. Okay, this one maybe you can see it better. The gold is their air holes. That's where they breathe out of. So there's gold like around. So that's it. This is what we've been doing. Um, we go outside and release them when they're fluttering and ready to go. And, oh, this is, there's eggs on this plant, so I'm just gonna leave the eggs on the plant. Those, that's an egg. It's tiny, it's really tiny. All right, so hope you're doing well. We love and miss you. What do you wanna say? Bye. <laughs> love you guys.